Hello everyone and welcome back to Westeros Craft Walks. I'm your host Kobe. And I'm Lucia. And today we are right next to the... Uh, oh, I was gonna call it the Blackwater, but it's not the Blackwater yet. Um, it's the river that goes from the God's Eye over there to uh, to meet with the Blackwater to end up in Blackwater Bay. Right now we are with the, in, a, in a sawmill that uh, uses the river as, uh, as, as power to saw blocks. No, not, not blocks. Uh, oh, wood. You wood blocks, OG, I guess. You went OG Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is a, a kind of look into a, into a sawmill. You can see the mechanism over there that, that turns the saw. A water wheel. A water wheel. And yeah, we're gonna follow the river um, down and uh, until until we get to the to the tourney grounds, so we got a, a little walk through the woods. Not the woods. Find the dollar. <laughs> so um, yeah, we got a little walk through the King's Landing surrounding lands as well before we get there. Got a nice uh, months coming up. And how long was it since the original King's Landing series? Probably like a year. Since it started since or we ended. Started even ended, I guess it maybe a year. I think it, it ended lo end of last year. Yeah. And then uh, it started like two years ago almost. <laughs> yeah, we took like a year break in the middle of it yeah. when we lost the will to live. So yeah, uh, <laughs> th this road goes to the old gate, uh, the God's Gate, I mean. Not the old gate. Um, but but yeah, we, old gate. We're, not, we're not following that road, we're gonna take the, the riverside uh, the riverside road. Um, so yeah, this is a general person house, normal person. Uh, yeah, here as well. But now we are gonna have a look at the fancy house. But wait, uh, I just realized you said general person house. Don't you just mean house? Yeah, house for the gen general person. Here you can see like I think these are grazing lands because like there's not that much grass um, compared to wild areas. But yeah, Lucia can have a look in the manse because she says she likes the manse. I like it. I mean, I think just aesthetically it's quite striking, especially when you compare it to the buildings around. But then even I like in here the interior ceiling. And it does change throughout the building, but you depending on the different layers. But they have the double mottle, but then on the bottom it's crossed. So it gives this really nice effect, which normally you don't see because it would be stacked in for the walls. And you have this huge array of windows, which is something you can get in a stone building where it can support itself a lot easier, versus double mottle, which you don't tend to see that many windows in. And also the fact that there's glass windows as well, and just the inside here where you can see that the stone wall is detailed with that carved wood is something that I haven't I mean someone would probably be like, it's in this build, but I find you don't really see as much where it's done on the interior with stone on top, it would tend to have like a clean white daub instead rather than stone. And even the gardens are quite nice as well. A fountain and some trees. But yeah, they have a little outbuilding, so mm -hmm. it will probably be for like storage. Receiving um, stuff from the river, because they got a small little dock too. Yeah, and here would be where the servants would live. But sometimes they do tend to have in the attic like one or two beds for servants there so they can kind of do round the clock care so that they can ring a bell and then the servant can come straight down whereas here they'd have to send someone to go and get them which would require having a servant in the house anyway mm -hmm. yeah we're kind of going through the the woods a little bit because uh, like i didn't want to go back to the road but i forgot they have this little wall here protecting the the King's Landing surrounding lands. Just, uh, I don't know, it, it doesn't protect that much, but I guess if you have an, an army, it will kind of slow them down a little bit if they do want to attack King's Landing. But yeah, we, we got, um, oh yeah, I'm trying to climb on these vines to get over the wall, but uh, then I, I saw this little village. So yeah, you have uh, some little villages um, along the river as well. Some uh, fishing gear. Again, some docks. So uh, this would be able to transport some stuffs from the riverlands, from uh, where the God's Eye is, to like uh, King's Landing and, uh, and everything along the way. Uh, we also have um, a crossing over here. I'll get a little 
closer look at it. So this uh, goes to an area outside of uh, King's Landing. So uh, those are some like minor lords uh, controlling the surrounding lands. And here you have a gate to the King's Landing con controlled lands. Uh oh. Is that a button to open the gate? Yeah, I was like, no, I do don't buttons. want to do buttons. So <laughs> I just uh, climb over climb over the little wall. Yeah, when Kobe was recording this, I was really confused as to why he didn't want to use the gate until I saw the buttons and I understood. Fear the buttons! So yeah, you have, a, you have another settlement here, some uh, garrison to keep an eye out. Some, uh, 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 I don't know what it is, but that, that building seems, like that tower seems weird to me, but... I think it's because it's... Quite square? Square, and then there's not... I think it might be the gradient? I don't know, because that type of um, stone, you, don't, you mean it used, this this village uses it, but not all of other villages. Around King's around Landing. Because they, they got that iconic King's Landing brick. But I think it is where it's square and there's no broken bits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here, here it is as well. I, I thought it was quite nice. They got a little ladder to pick the apples. A sept as well, yeah. This is just a little uh, settlement here. And there's a little broken bit in it there, but not enough. Mm -hmm. I always tend to be super broken. It depends how long ago they were built. Mm hmm. Yeah. So yeah, we are gonna continue on the road near the river. Um, we will come across uh, another interesting place in a moment. Um, which should we tell them what it is yet, or just keep it? Keep them waiting for like another few seconds. Keep them waiting. Okay. It, it's not this. This is just, I guess, it, I guess the ruins of what was once a man's. Uh, we're not gonna have a look in that uh, at the moment. Oh, you can kind of see the walls appearing. Do you see the King's Landing walls in the distance there? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That sounds convincing. But you know it where the what? convincing. Okay. It sounded like you said it wrong. Okay. So that, the, uh, speaking <laughs> speaking of King's Landing um, brick, stone brick, this is where it's made. This is where they get the uh, iconic red King's Landing brick, bricks from. We're gonna have a better look at it in a moment, but uh, over there in the distance. You know which gate that is? Me? Or, or, or the commons. Because I don't. Uh, the it's big a, gate. It's a little hint when, when I zoom in in a moment. Lion gate. Yeah. You, you even... You knew it before I zoomed in on the I lion. I kind of saw the blob and I was like... Yeah. yeah. Dog gate. Dog no. go wolf. Yeah, so here is the... Here is a little cinematic because you guys liked flying, flying around last episode. So I, I put the little cinematic bits in here. You'll see some more. Here you get the hint of the place we are gonna visit next. We should go somewhere with spiders so you can get bitten and then you can fly around with your spider-man webs. I don't think that's... that's... Like a dragon spider. Yeah, so... Well, a flying well, the, spider. These are the wetlands that um, they get the clay from, the red clay, to make the bricks. And now we will kind of have a look in the process of how they're making it. Uh, here you see some uh, brick furnaces, I guess. They they cook the bricks. Here they shovel up the bricks, the, the clay I guess, to make the bricks from. It must smell, maybe. Because I... sometimes you get with mud like a sulfur smell. And that's what sm makes things smell like um, I... eggs. Like especially you get it by volcanoes. Yeah, um, I, I don't think there's, there's much, many volcanoes here. Like when I went to one in St. Lucia and it was so bad. And that's where I learned the fun fact about, I think it was cashews, when they grow on the trees that you can't eat them until they've been processed because they're poisonous. Oh, that's not good. But so yeah, here you, here you see uh, like several stages of uh, the brick coffin. You can they cover it with dirt as well and it kind of collapses. Similar to like charcoal burning, I guess. That's what that reminds me of. Um, but yeah, yeah. here is uh, some storage areas to, to store them, I guess. Uh, I think that was... Oh no, I'm mm -hmm. gonna... I, th I was gonna say I think that was it, but I'm gonna check out that area as well. Because they I saw while flying around something interesting. That they kind of built like a little wooden construction. Because um, as you can see here, those little 
ditches they fill with water, so they have to wa get the water out somehow. So they build a little dam. Uh, it's it's a no. little like kind of channel. So they get buckets, oh. they bucket it out, and they can like if I can get up there. They do it in here, and it will stream in the river. Oh, that's kind of cool. Correction, it's very cool. Very cool, yeah. Yeah, boy. Awesome. When I hear myself say that back, I'm just gonna cringe already. <laughs> yeah, boy. So yeah, here you, they got some clay. They they kind of shape the bricks, I guess, before they burn it, because um, you don't want to burn a blob of clay without being in brick form. Well, maybe you um, don't know how I want to shape my house. Uh, I guess not. <laughs> but yeah, we are um, heading along the road again. You'll see some more of the surrounding lands in a moment. Um, because this is quite a nice area, they have this um, walkway, the, the road to uh, the King's Landing walls with the, the trees aligning it. We'll get another cinematic here. Whoosh! You built a house around here at the end. Yeah, I built tons of houses. I don't think it was this exact one. I think it was another one where there was a tree-lined avenue, a straight road like that. And I got such a good view out the picture, uh, out the window, that I had to take a picture. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is so amazing! It's like, calm down. And here, here are some <laughs> bees, you know. I recently did a, did a video on medieval beekeeping on my personal channel. That's my little uh, shameless plug for this episode. Link in the description or at the end of the video. Um, okay, that, that was it for this, uh, that little plug. Here, I think this is another um, tanning bit, tanning place, tannery, tannery, that's it. You you see quite a, f we'll see quite a few tanneries like around the river. Well, you know that reminds me, it's another, you know how they make purple? Apparently the, the smell is so bad that it was never in the city. Yeah, that, where they crushed the shells. Yeah, they got they got a few professions in the Middle Ages that like were as, well in, in England. I know there were some professions that were like actually banned from being in a city. But yeah, someone left a little boat here. It's not supposed to be here, but I'll take it. Luckily for the lads, prostitution was not one of them. Oh, I guess. Not, hey, yeah. boys! Me and the, me and the boys. Yeah. So here we we get to another settlement along the the river. So uh, this boats is where yeah, this is where they make boats. So I'll destroy this one because not meant to have like Minecraft boats. We got the nice boats that we build ourselves. So we can't use those boats I guess unless not, you yeah. use your imagination. Yeah. So this is actually where the river to the right, which is flowing from the God's Eye, meets the Blackwater Rush, which is to the left. That's where they meet. So the river little gets a little pen. bigger. Yeah. Who, who built that little pig pen, Lucia? Very talented builder. Yeah. Called me! <laughs> oh, I didn't know we had someone called me. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is getting tur turned into some dad jokes. Um, I know, I was about to yeah. say, hi me, I'm dad! <laughs> but yeah, um, you have another crossing, uh, you had another crossing along the river, some, another uh, minor lord controlling the other side um, of the river. But I guess we will have to find a little house to sleep in. Right, Lucia? Left. No. Oh, oh yeah, I did go left. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I am so funny. Oh my god. Mm. So yeah, we, we're gonna get rested and then tomorrow, in game tomorrow, we will check out the tourney grounds. Sounds like you're saying arrested. G getting rested. We're getting rested, mate. Yeah. We go run from the fuzz. <laughs> and then there's... Sirens, sirens outside, but you won't be able us. to hear it. There are some police sirens outside our flat. Nino, Nino, wakey, wakey. Yeah, yeah, we wakey, wakey, Lucia. That looks nice. Yeah. Nice shaders. Mm. Yeah, it's the unfortunate thing. If you don't have like a big computer, like a gaming computer, if you use a laptop, shaders, your computer will not be happy with you and won't mm. run shaders. Mm. Which is annoying. Yeah, over there you can kind of see. The edge of the wall of King's Landing. Over oh, there is the oh, what was that gate called? 
I think that one is like Big the old gate. It must be the old gate or something. I, I don't. I actually don't remember. We made a video about it, but Kobe's I don't remember gate. The, the gate. Gate's name. Um, but uh, here is the kind of the entry. You can kind of see the the store. Here is a little training joust area. It's not a proper one. But yeah, um, you'll see in a moment as well. I was saying about the tanneries that they had them along the river and they had one here and let's just say there was a reason why in real medieval England they were banned from being near a city because they were very stinky so this is a little rant because I don't get why they put the tourney crowns it's right okay. next it's okay. It's okay. to a stinky tannery it's okay you've gone red he's been very upset about this yeah, I guess, I guess it's only temporary, but still, it's not very pleasant if well, you go... Well, especially when you have like the king there and they'd have all the uh, the knights, and when there's a big tourney, especially with King's Landing being the capital, all the big important people come, and you don't want to sit there and smell that. Yeah. So here is the, the first of the three uh, kind of... Directly next to it. Yeah, stages of the tourney grounds. This is the jousting area. So, um, yeah, there, there's jousting, melee, and archery. Uh, I, I, oh, this is probably where they poop as well. Um, the horses or the people? The people, I guess. Oh. Uh, but yeah, that, that was the... the tur um, I'm getting turned. What, what was the name? I just said it. The jousting area. So, um, the person who won the joust was uh, Sir, Sir Greg... Uh, not Gregor. Sandor Clegane. I guess not, sir, because he says I'm not a knight. Um, Dude. Yeah, so Sander Clegane won it. Uh, he was meant to f to do the final against Sir Loras, but uh, in the semi-final, Sir Loras was against Gregor, and Gregor got very angry and almost killed Loras, um, and and because because Gregor lost, uh, and then the Hound kind of saved Sir Loras. Sir Lor Sir Loras was like. Okay, I, I I forfeit. You can have the title. I won't fight you in the final. You, I give you the title because you saved my life. But as you can see on the ground here, there's an ash and black surrounded by mud, and that would be where the tents are, and then the black is where they'd have their fire for cooking and heating. So here you can kind of see the broken down tents as they're kind of moving on after everything happened. Mm. So yeah, here as well, this area is supposed to be for the melee, if I could go in. Here, I got a problem with this as well, because like, <sighs> it's, it's meant that in the melee there were like 40 people and people, some people were on horse, horseback. I don't think this, this fits 40 people and horses, this little area. I think it should be bigger, unless they fought it somewhere else. Uh, yeah, there you have the archery and the, the other gate of King's Landing there. But yeah, there were so there were forty people in the melee and uh, some, they going some round, horses maybe? as well. No, they were all together. Oh, from what I yeah, read. that's definitely not big enough. Um, but yeah, Tor Toros of Mir uh, ended up winning the the melee. Um, Is it kind of like a you win or you die situation? No, it's they fight with like blunted weapons. Oh, okay. So well, they can get. It was very common for people to die, even in like the real medieval ages, even, like from bludgeoning and stuff. Because even though the the weapons were blunt, they could still do some damage. Well, I mean, really, they could they could just die from like infection mm -hmm. of like even if it's like they get grazed and they get mud in it, and it's like you are gonna die. Mm -hmm. There's a harbor over there in the distance. So here on the right hand side is my style of boat that I can build. Yeah, the one with the <laughs> sails. Uh, yeah, there are some tents here from people uh, kind of at the end because most people's already left the journeys over. Some people stayed in their little tents. Another mill here. Sewing by hand from what I can see. Probably for making boats. Mm -hmm. I think... Oh no, I, th I thought there was a rope maker as well somewhere here, but I don't think we saw it in the video. So here, um, we're actually going... Oh yeah, it's behind this hedge. So we'll, we'll take a little detour and then finally we'll get to the arrow tournament grounds. Um, but yeah, we, we're getting closer to the to the city gates over there, as you can see. You you like you like the tourney grounds, Lichia? What are your thoughts? Aye. 
You you do what? Like them? Yeah. I agree with you that the melee it's not big enough. But yeah, it's 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 done. Yeah. Kobe just wants to fight. He wants to be known as the bad boy of the circle. Oh no. But especially like like I mean like a, an important location I, I think it should be bigger like going off the description of the books but yeah here is the is the arrow tourney grounds so um they got little posts marking the distance to the to the targets um and uh this uh in the final there were also a few more uh, candidates but the final was um battled well not battled but uh it was at a uh, hundred paces, the final, and three candidates made it that's this far. This far? Yeah, I, I, I don't know if this is a hundred, but this is the end. Um, so it was between Angai of the Dornish Marches, uh, Sir Balon Swan, uh, and... Uh, oh, this is a foreign prince, probably from the Summer Islands, Prince uh, Jalabar. I think uh, it might be... Not... Oh? Is all? So? Oh, so, yeah. So? So, Jalabar Zo. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember him from the books now. Now that I say it, I think he was from the Summer Islands. But Angai of the Dornish Marches ended up uh, winning the archery tournament. Yeah, we're we're kind of um, at the end of this video, going through the the start of the harbor into this gate over here. Um, so yeah. That, that was about it. For the poll, uh, you can decide between uh, where we started. We could go north um, down that road from where, where we started. We can also cross the river in this place before the river splits. And we can also cross this place just after the river splits where we were. And on screen right now, you can also find the link to the playlist of Westeros Craft Walks, as well as my video on medieval beekeeping. Alrighty then, bye guys! See you next time!